What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel for today's video We're gonna be checking out the Transformers Legacy Evolution Deluxe Class Bombshell Now technically this is the final core Insecticon that we need in order to round off the original trio And I'm gonna be honest with you guys out of the three This was the one that I was the most looking forward to seeing an update of because personally I think by far he has the best looking Insecticon design out of the bunch and in terms of an action figure He's actually kind of banging so as we first of all directly compare him alongside his original G1 character model, much like the previous two, I think this is likely to be the most accurate version of this guy that we've so far seen, which is great, but it does kind of make you wonder what's took them so long. I mean, these guys are not too difficult to transform, and their alt modes are all basically just bricks with a pair of antennas sticking out the front, but still, he does look awesome. In terms of a back profile, there is literally no kibble at all. I mean, he is super clean, especially for a deluxe class. He is loaded with quite a few ports. I imagine that's alluding to the various different read tools and repaints that we're now going to get out of these guys, considering considering we have the original three, but yeah, really clean looking as we come around here to the front. This is the key reason why this guy is my favorite out of the bunch, and it's got to do with the head design. I mean, he looks wicked, so strikingly different from the other two as well. I mean, we get this sick medieval mouthpiece, this massive kind of laser which juts out of the top of his head, and this has been fully decked out in silver. So yeah, that looks great. And the chest design also very nicely detailed, especially some of the sculpting that we have underneath this orange visor. Unfortunately, you still cannot open this cockpit. With every single Legacy and Setscon release, I try and pry this open, but nah, this is glued into place. And I also like that, unlike the animation model where the chest was kind of grey, like you're seeing here for the thighs, they have spruced this up with gold, silver, and purple to better match the other two. So I do think that makes him just look slightly more visually interesting. But basically, the chest and the arms and the head are brand new. But everything you guys see here from the waist downwards is a direct carryover from Shrapnel, which I don't think is lazy. I mean, if it works, why fix it? But I do wish, much like the chest, they maybe could have taken a bit of creative liberty with the color scheme and spruced up some of these details because it does look kind of bland but in terms of articulation the head does look left to right i will say that when you are rotating it it does feel like you're putting a bit of pressure on this whole kind of head piece i mean as you can see it is kind of wobbling so i'm not too sure how well those clips are going to hold up over time but in terms of the shoulders these will rotate the full 360 technically we do get a bit of butterfly action due to the way it transforms but it bends backwards but still it's a point of articulation i'm definitely going to take it the shoulders will hinge out to the sides you can take the inside set legs, move them forwards, which does allow for a much greater range, which I thought was pretty cool. We do get a bicep rotation as well as a nice degree bend there out of the elbow. Unfortunately, no wrist rotation, but we do get a very nice waist joint. The hips can kick forwards that far, which is fantastic, as well as back to that far out to the sides. We get a thigh swivel, 90 degree bend packed into the knee, and then finally we get the classic War for Cybertron slash Legacy Ankle Pivot. So overall, in terms of a robot, as I said previously, I do think he's likely to be the strongest out of the bunch, especially in terms of detail. I mean, that face is just so cool. And for those wondering, if you wanted to, you could pull this helmet piece backwards slightly more to reveal some of the additional details that we've got packed into the crest, or you could pull it all the way forward to kind of create a face shield and have him absolutely annihilating some of the Autobots when in battle. Now, as we check out this guy's accessories, much like the previous two, he does come with quite a few. So, first up is this very G1 accurately sculpted blaster. To be fair, it's kind of very similar in design to the headpiece, but fully decked out in silver, looks awesome. And then we also get a pair of insect legs, which are primarily for the beast mode, but you can use them in the bot mode. You can peg them under the arms, which is the position that they will take in beast mode anyway, and kind of create this underslung look. Or because it's legacy evolution, you can Evo fusion them together with this metallic silver blaster to kind of create this triple barrel weapon which I guess he could use to decimate the Autobots on the battlefield so yeah it's kind of cool that much like the previous two they also didn't skimp out with his weaponry. Now, as we check out a few comparisons in robot mode, here we have Bombshell alongside kind of his mold mate, that being Shrapnel. So as I said previously, basically the entire upper torso is brand new, but the legs and the crotch are a direct carryover. I don't really mind this so much, but to kind of go back to my earlier point, much like the chest, I do kind of wish they could have taken a bit of creative inspo in terms of the color scheme because the feet on this guy do just look way more appealing when in comparison to the massive black that we do just have here for the base of the leg. But to kind of go back to my earlier point again, look how clean bombshell is from the back. I mean, shrapnel was pretty good, but he had the insect legs here, whereas this guy literally has no kibble. So personally, I do think it's looking like this guy may just be the best out of the entire trio. But before we decide that, we still have to bring out the OG Legacy Insecticon, that being Kickback. And to be fair, if I was being truthful, I think both of them are as good as each other. Personally, though, I do much prefer the design of Bombshell. As I said beforehand, I love the head design, but as you can see, they are probably both as clean as each other. 
other from the back. They're both as articulated with maybe this guy having a slight unfair advantage due to the backwards butterfly joints. But yeah, you guys let me know down in the comment section below out of the three Insecticons, which is your personal favorite? And then just quick firing through a few more comparisons. Here we have him stacked up alongside the Toxitron Earthrise Mirage Mold. Legacy Evolution Core Class Bomb Burst, which is such a cool little figure. Studio Series 86 Voyager Class Ironhide. Netflix Siege Megatron. And then finally, Earthrise Optimus Prime. Now, as we get stuck into transformation, as I said previously, this guy is an absolute walk in the park to transform. So, first of all, you are going to want to straighten out this prong. We can then take this section, and this tiny little tab will smack itself into this slot. Now, unfortunately, because this is fully decked out in silver, as you guys can see, there is a bit of paint rub, which I think is kind of a shame. You know, it would have been nice had this piece maybe just been grey plastic and the rest of it been painted. But anyway, you are just going to want to slide that there into this slot. What we can then do is take the hands and slide them into the forearms. You're then going to want to bring in the accessories so here are the little insect legs that will just peg into the back of his arms so snap that in there and do the exact same here for this side once you've done that we can now rotate at the bicep so that these legs are perfectly aligned with each other and do the same here for this side what you'll then want to do is rotate here at the waist so the front is now facing the back flip around here to the front take the feet and just slide these sections down and then we can combine these two halves and take these shin pads and just flip these sections here upwards now basically there are multiple double hinge joints here so you're going to want to bend at the knees and then bend these sections here down and all of this is going to collapse in upon itself and there are two tiny little tabs here that will slide into these slots so lock that there into place just like that you're then going to want to hinge the shoulders out to the sides utilize those kind of backwards butterfly joints that I showcased previously take this tiny little section and just flip this piece here upwards snap those there into place and then there are two slots so one here on the hip joint and then there's also one in here which may be a little difficult to kind of see but what's going to happen is that, that tab is going to peg into that one and then this tab is going to slide into the side so what you're going to do is just slide that one in first snap that into place and do the exact same here for this side and bang, here we have Bombshell fully transformed up into his Insecticon mode. And despite how accurate it looks to the original 80 series, it is most definitely a sign of the times. You know, I am hoping in some ways that if Hasbro ever do approach a set of Insecticons in the future, much like we've seen for some of their Legacy Prime or Legacy Cyberverse characters, that they maybe put their own creative spin on these alt modes, because let's all face it, despite this being G1 accurate, it's not the best looking alt mode, is it? It basically is just a brick with a huge appendage sticking out of the front but very g1 accurate so in terms of articulation this section here can hinge up and down so i guess that creates for a slightly different look i imagine these are supposed to be the big bug eyes i mean to be fair they don't look too bad some nice kind of lining detail but that is pretty much bombshell a huge brick with a pair of legs on the underside and a big metallic silver stick sticking out of the front now you can weaponize this guy up by smacking his blaster into the top and i guess that makes the design look slightly more interesting but yeah, as I said, basically just a brick on legs. Now, as we get stuck into an Insecticon comparison, here we have Bombshell alongside both Kickback and Shrapnel. And much like in Robot Mode, they do look pretty great alongside each other. Despite me maybe not being a huge fan of their designs in Insecticon Mode, they are undeniably incredibly accurate to how they originally appeared back in the 80s. And of course, this video would not be complete without showcasing all three of them together in one massive Insecticon group shot. And yeah, they look fantastic. Does there ever need to be a new set of Hasbro and Insecticons, to be honest, I don't think so, because each and every one of these are pretty banging. Now, as we very quickly get stuck into reverse transformation, to start things off with, you are going to want to disengage the forearms away from the thighs. We can then hinge these shoulder joints out to the front, take this section here, slide this piece down, and then come up here to the legs, and basically pull these here backwards, extend these joints, and then shift all of this up until they do click into place. Spin this guy around here to the front, snap this section into place. We can then flip out the feet, rotate the waist all the way around so it's in the correct orientation for robot mode we can then split here at the legs rotate at the biceps flip out the hands as i said when we were checking out the accessories if you wanted to you could completely leave these insect legs attached for robot mode to kind of create these underslung weapons which to be fair don't look too bad and do the same here for this side and then for some finishing touches take this helmet piece shift it backwards slightly or to however far you want to and then just bend this prong and bang there is bombshell back in his robot mode 
And so, wrapping up on the review for the Legacy Evolution Deluxe Class Bombshell. Overall, much like the previous two Legacy Insecticons, it's again another really strong release. I mean, a very basic figure in design, but that is just what the original G1 Insecticons were. They were never the most complex, great looking robot mode. I am glad to see them take a bit of creative liberty in terms of the colorization, and we'll no doubt see a more animation accurate version of this guy repainted in the future. The base mode is pretty accurate again to what we saw in the show, although I do hope that in the future, one one day we can get those designs slightly updated as they may have worked okay for the 80s but for modern times I'm pretty certain Hasbro can come up with a slightly better design but if you picked up the previous two Insecticons then without a doubt you have to track down Bombshell as like I said previously I do regard him as being probably the best out of the entire bunch so I'd love to get your thoughts down in the comment section below what do you guys think of the legacy Bombshell and these new Insecticons as a whole and now we have the original trio what repaints and what retools would you guys maybe like to see in the future. As always, I thank you all so much for watching and until my next video, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.